Welcome to the Road Safety Authority's series of videos focusing on driveway safety. These videos will look at child safety in and around parked and moving vehicles, both in driveways and out on housing estate roads, areas where traditionally children play. This is the third video in a series of six and will focus on the important checks you need to conduct every time you get behind the wheel of a vehicle. This is typically called a cockpit drill. It takes just a few seconds to do these routine checks, which will help to ensure you minimize any potential risks to you or others' safety. A basic cockpit drill has eight steps, which include checking the doors, seat including head restraint, handbrake, gears, mirrors, seat belts, fuel gauge and warning lights. We will now explain each one in detail. Ensure all doors are properly secured. Ask your passengers to check their doors if they are old enough to do so. If not, check them yourself. By ensuring the doors are closed properly, you can avoid a door swinging open during a turn. It will also help to keep any passengers in your vehicle safe. Many parents routinely deploy child locks. These locks help ensure the door is not opened from the inside and provides additional safety for occupants. Next, check that your seat is in the correct position. If your seat is not correctly positioned, it may be uncomfortable and be a cause of distraction when you should be concentrating on your driving. Now check that the handbrake or parking brake is fully on. Some modern cars have electric handbrakes, but it is still important to make sure it is properly engaged before starting the engine. Check that the gear lever is in the neutral position. This ensures that the vehicle does not lunge forward or backward when you start the engine. Next, make sure the mirrors are correctly adjusted. This should be done before you start the car and never whilst the vehicle is being driven. If they get accidentally knocked during a journey, stop in a safe place and readjust before carrying on with your journey. Make sure your seatbelt is properly fitted and check that your passengers have theirs on correctly. It is important that the belts are sitting flat against you and are not twisted. Check the fuel gauge to make sure you have enough fuel to complete your journey. Some gauges won't show the fuel level until the engine is started. Remember, running out of fuel is not only an inconvenience, but depending on where it happens, it could leave your vehicle and its occupants in a position of danger. Finally, check to make sure all system warning lights go out as expected. It is important to understand what the warning lights on your vehicle's dashboard mean. If in doubt, check the vehicle handbook before starting your journey. Once you have completed all of these checks, you will know if it is safe to start the engine or not. Make this a part of every journey you take, no matter how short. Don't assume, always take the time to check, and never ever take chances when it comes to a child's life. For more road safety tips and advice, visit rsa.ie.